The guard logic system uses a safety signature to verify the integrity of a safety application. This video will show how the safety signature, safety lock, I.O. configuration signature, and the signature of a safety add-on instruction can be used to maintain the integrity of a GuardLogix safety application. The software that a GuardLogix controller user creates to meet the safety requirements of a particular application is called safety-related application software. Safety standards have an increasing level of requirements for the design of safety application software. See ISO 13849, Part 1 Safety-Related Application Software, and IEC 62061, Level 1 Software for more details. After a system has been functionally tested and validated, version control is used to identify and document future modifications. The Guard Logix Controller Safety Signature applies to the entire safety portion of the controller and uniquely identifies the logic, data, and configuration. The safety signature is composed of a safety signature identification hex number ID and a timestamp with date and time. The ID is generated by the Guard Logix controller and is the primary indication of safety integrity. The timestamp is generated by Logix Designer software and provides an indication of when changes were made based on the PC time when the safety signature was generated. For Guard Logix 5580, and Compact Guard Logics 5380. The safety signature is required for SIL or PL safety rated operation. The controller safety signature status can be viewed on the controller overview by clicking on safety status. To generate a safety signature, Logics Designer must be online with the controller in program mode, safety unlocked, no safety forces, or pending edits and the safety task status must be OK. The easiest way to generate a signature is from the pull-down on the safety status indicator by selecting Generate Signature. To show the full safety signature ID, click on the three dots known as the ellipsis icon. The copy icon can be used to copy the signature ID for documentation. Opening the controller properties, the Safety tab displays additional details regarding the safety application. To better demonstrate the safety options, the signature will be deleted. A prompt indicates that the existing signature will be removed. Click Yes. When selected, Protect Signature in Run Mode helps prevent the deletion of the safety signature when the controller is in remote run mode. The key switch in Run Mode helps protect the signature independent of the selected configuration in the safety controller properties. Safety I.O. can be replaced without deleting the safety signature. The program must be configured for the desired response when safety I.O. is replaced with an out-of-box module. The choice is only allow automatic configuration when no safety signature exists, or always allow automatic configuration. If the first selection is chosen, a manual online action to set the safety network number may be required. Even though always allow automatic configuration requires less user interaction when changing I.O., this option should only be used if the entire routable safety control system is not being relied on for safety rated functionality during the replacement and functional testing of the device. Safety lock and unlock can be performed from the controller properties or from the safety status pull-down menu. The safety lock is not required for SIL or PL rated operation and can be used with or without a safety signature. There are optional passwords for both safety lock and safety unlock. A safety unlock password is often used to help protect the GuardLogix controller project from unauthorized removal of the safety signature. The status of the safety lock cannot be changed with the key switch in run mode. This table summarizes how the safety signature and safety lock work together. A controller without a safety signature is to be used only during application code development. The safety locked feature can be used to prevent a download during development. The safety signature protects safety memory and logic, but without being safety locked, the safety signature can easily be removed.
to help protect the safety signature and only allow downloads from an offline project with a matching safety signature. Apply the safety signature and safety lock with an unlock password. Document the safety passwords appropriately. A stage one controller reset to clear the controller program is required to download to a controller if the password is lost and a project with the exact safety signature is unavailable. GuardLogic's safety I.O. modules have a safety configuration signature. The configuration ID is a hex number representing the specific safety configuration of the safety I.O. module. The date and time is the computer time of the last safety configuration change. Safety I.O. modifications can be made online or offline when a controller is unlocked without a safety signature. The configuration signature modification process updates with online edits and program downloads when using most Rockwell automation products. Follow vendor provided procedures to manually update the configuration signature when using third-party safety devices. Configuration signatures can be preserved by copying or importing previously configured modules. Safety add-on instructions provide a method to contain reusable application code. GuardLogic's version 18 in 2010 introduced safety add-on instructions. Once tested and validated, the programming contained within the add-on instruction can be easily reused. Safety add-on instructions contain an ID number that identifies the contents and a timestamp from the computer when the offline instruction signature was generated. When a sealed safety add-on instruction is downloaded for the first time, the SIL rated safety instruction signature is automatically generated. The safety instruction signature is an ID number that identifies the code and execution characteristics. The instruction signature is not guaranteed to be maintained when migrating between major revisions of guard logics. Consider monitoring the guard logics controller safety status in the application program. From the safety task used get system values GSV to obtain the SIL configuration and the status of the safety signature. Additional information like the signature ID, time and date, and lock status can be obtained using the GSV instruction from a standard task. The status of the safety controller can be used to generate alarms, safety stop the machine, or simply display for periodic review. Software programs that monitor processor status, such as Factory Talk Asset Center, can also detect changes of safety status. To review, safety standards require safety application software validation and version control. In Guard Logics, the controller safety signature, safety lock, I.O. configuration signature, and safety add-on instructions are available to help manage changes to application software. That concludes today's lesson on GuardLogic's safety software change management.